back now with Coach Me If You Can. And if you need that extra push to get to the gym or you want people to take you seriously when it comes to business, we've got a, an award-winning panel of life coaches yes, we to do. give you some advice. Gabrielle Bernstein is the author of May Cause Miracles. Stephanie Ziv is a former television executive turned life coach. And Valerie Burton is the author of Successful Women Think Differently. Good morning to you all, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so we've got some great questions from our viewers. So let's get right to them. Helen is 35 years old, wondering about friendships at work. Let's listen. How do you balance friendships and relationships in the workplace? All right, Gabrielle, let's talk about this first. I think it's very important to recognize that we have to keep those relationships professional. You can have friendships at work, but you want to make sure that you're always maintaining that professional experience within that experience of the workplace so that you're not getting yourself into trouble. So does, does that mean male, female, 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 male, male? Yes, particularly the male, female. I think we need to keep it professional. No dating in the workplace. I, I, listen, I think it happens sometimes. People get married from the person that they met at work, but I think we got to just keep it clean. And if it's really going to happen, you're going to get married, then go. For it, but. Oh, that out. <laughs> keep, keep it clean. That's right. Very important. All right. Let, next up, we've got Justine, a 24 year old trying to manage the generation gap at work. Check it out. As a young business owner, how do I get older customers and clients to respect me and feel comfortable with my level of experience? Well, Stephanie, that, that sounds uh, like it's a matter of confidence. It is a matter of confidence. Both of these women started their business in their 20s, so I can yeah. throw to either of them at this moment, which I will. Yeah, I, I know, Justine is 24. I was 24 when I started my first business. I think the most important thing is people care about results. That's what I found. So if I got results for them, they really weren't that concerned about how old I am. Don't make an issue out of your age. But if there's a project where you need more experience, make sure you're collaborating with other people who have that experience. She doesn't have to feel like she has to know it all. Isn't there a line, though, Gabrielle? You don't want to be seen as climbing over over the people whose respect you're trying to earn. Yeah, right? yeah, I think it's really important to just maintain that level of professionalism and being your age, but also recognizing that if you really believe in yourself and you believe that being whatever age you are is fine, I was 21 when I started my first business, that then other people will believe in you. So whatever you're experiencing on the inside will be reflected back to you. Okay, cool, let's get to the next one. Kathy is 55, wants to know about getting motivated to work out. As a woman in my 50s, getting motivated to work out can be a struggle. I have the time, but I lack the interest. What are your suggestions to help me take the first steps to get started exercising again? Well, we can all sympathize with that. We lack the interest in working out. So how do you get oh, motivated? We have the interest. We just don't have the motivation. <laughs> I can take this one. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's three things. No your why. Why do you want to do this? What, what results do you want and why is it compelling? So figure something out. Is it you want to have more energy for your kids? You have a high school reunion and then find an accountability partner mm -hmm. or a team. What would it be like if your entire family joined in in this opportunity to work out and get motivated? Well, if it's Natalie's family, a nightmare. Oh, oh, gosh, that's yeah. another story. We want no part of that. That's we want another no part segment. Of that. yeah. And the and the third thing is to um, give yourself a reward. Habits are formed when we give ourselves rewards, but make it healthy. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I think that's good. I think that's all the time we have for this. Gabrielle, thank you advice. very much. Stephanie, Valerie, as always, good to see you. We're back in a moment. This is today on NBC.